In this Cinelera tutorial I will show you how to create a pan and zoom slideshow. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in Cinelera. The link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK, well the first thing, I'm using a version of Cinelera called GG Infinity. It's by far the best version um, out there, so I suggest you use um, the Infinity version. Um, and I have left the link in the description below on how to install this version, um, the easiest way to install it as well. Anything else, CV, PPA, forget them, that's pretty awful um, editors. So to start with, left click on file and come up to new project. And what you need to do is decide what format you're going to render your pan and zoom slideshow in. Um, like I said, I've assumed you've got a bit of uh, knowledge of editing in Cinelera. So I've left mine at user default and I'm doing 25 frames a second and what I want to do is set this up at I can find it 1920 1080 full HD and I'll leave it at that now audio the one thing you might find difficult is doing a lot of images at once um, it can get a bit lumpy unless you've got a, quite a powerful computer when you're um, pan, especially if you're doing extreme pans. So, what I suggest is you do three or four at a time, render them off as a video, and then when you finish, join them all together and then add audio if you want. So, I'm going to leave the audio set here at zero and I'll just take the tracks up to three and then I'm going to left click OK. Now I'm going to skip ahead and just import some images into this browser here. Okay, well I've brought these three images into uh, the browser this side. You can use proxies as well if you want. Um, so rather than bring your images into the viewer, all you would do is just hold your left mouse button down and just drag them into the timeline. So these, this one's in timeline or video track one. Now the first thing, none of these editors are automatic fancy whistle button playing malarkeys that we all love to hate. So you need to think about how long your um, pan and zoom is going to be. A lot of um, editors sort of come in at three or four seconds. With Cinelera you adjust the length by holding you your pointer over the right edge, hold down your left mouse button and just drag the marker out. So I'm going to take this to about 8 seconds. And now if you just press home on your keyboard you should go back to the beginning or you can use these uh, home buttons here. It gives you the shortcut by the side, so in this one it says rewind in brackets home. So, first things you're going to do you got a key, it says generate keyframes while tweaking. Left click on this, and to the left of the screen, look for something that says adjust camera automation. Left click on this. Now make sure you're definitely at the beginning and what I would do is you've got a slider here, hold your left mouse button down over the slider and drag your view in until it fills the screen. And then you can drag your view down if you want, just make sure you're filling the top of the screen and if you want to justify it in any direction so I just want to make sure this is centered horizontally I'll just left click on this center horizontal button. Now we want to go to the end. So to jump to the end you literally press the end button on your keyboard with your pointer in this track here. 
And what that will do is it will flick you one frame past. So you'll need to come back one frame. So just left click on frame reverse once. Or well, you can press 4 as well, but it's just as easy to do this once. So that's frame reverse. And again, just zoom in a bit. Drag your view around, making sure that you don't come outside the view. Uh, and that will do there. And press, place your pointer in here and press home. And that will take you back to the beginning or you can use this rewind button. Now if you press play here you got a pan and a zoom. The only other thing you can do is you can change the way the um, zoom performs. So this is more of a curved sort of in and out. This one's more linear. So play around with these you can swap from one to the other and see what you fancy doing. OK, now, the thing you need to do now is lock this off. So what you want to do is look for the red padlock. It says arm track, left click. OK, press end on your keyboard with your pointer in the track. So that end on your keyboard and then drag your next image in until it lines up with the marker and it doesn't always work, I struggle with these come on little blighter yeah there, ok it can be a bit lumpy and again drag your time out so another 8 seconds will be 16 give or take so I want to go back to here now the way to do that is hold down control and your left arrow key make sure your pointers in this track here so that's taking me back so that's control and left arrow, control right arrow takes you one way, left arrow takes you that way. So I need to, this one's obviously because of zooming around, this one is zoomed right in. So we'll drag this view out until we're happy with the view. I'm not going to go into anything too fancy. Let's get that press out the way and I'll go over here that will do and with your pointer in the track line here press control in your right arrow key and you might have to come back one so do that with this button here frame reverse just quickly left click on it once and I'll zoom in a bit drag the view over do what you want with that. Happy days. Let's bring that there. OK. And you can arm your track. And I'm going to press home on my keyboard with the pointer in this, in the tracks. And we'll press play and see if everything's working. and it's not too bad it will jump sometimes there's not much you can do about that ok so I'm going to press end on a keyboard and just drag one more clip in incidentally if you want to go um, from left to right on your screen if you hold down control and roll your middle mouse you can literally move your tracks over to left or right. So that's control and roll in your middle mouse button. OK, I'm going to drag one more clip in and hopefully get it to lock against 
my marker and it can be fiddly that I'm sure there's probably a shortcut to do this but I haven't worked it out yet and I'll drag this out so I want to go what we 16 so that'll be up to 24 so that'll do take it up there again adjust these obviously the more extreme the longer you want your clip and I'm going to press pointer in the tracks control left mouse button or left arrow button sorry so that's control left arrow button to the beginning and zoom myself out till I've got I don't know filled the frame drag the view down so that I'm up to that'll do and I'll center it off place my pointer in the view press end and then come back one frame and we'll drag this up to about there center it off again and lock it off here press home and then press play So that's not looking too bad. Now what I would do is just go ahead and render this your three or four um, pan and zooms. Don't worry if they stick when they're playing in, in the compositor. It, well, should be okay when you render them. Um, so go ahead and render them. Make sure you turn your proxy clips off. Um, and if you're using them, and then do another three or four and then when you finish join them all together um, and you should have a reasonable series of images that have been panned and zoomed so hopefully that's helped somebody thank you for watching cheers